Flamingo, one of the most well-known Roblox YouTubers, has recently hit 10 million subscribers, all the way from making Club Penguin videos to getting over 7 billion views on his channel. This is the story of how Flamingo became so successful. First, we need to start at the beginning. Oh, and by the way, I'll be referring to him as Albert from now on. In 2011, Albert created his first account, and for the first two years of having it, he made a couple of YouTube channels, but in reality, they ended up going nowhere. Then, on the day, July 20th, 2012, Albert had just started his channel named Albert Stuff. He started off making just regular Roblox videos, and this may seem harmless on the surface, but there was just one catch. And that was the fact that he used excessive profanity. This, in turn, ended up being extremely detrimental to him. As YouTube would go on to demonetize his channel, he would not be able to continue this way, since he would be making little to no money. So, he had to change something. And on the 6th of July, 2017, Albert created a new channel named Flamingo. On this channel, he took a more kid-friendly approach, completely eliminating his use of profanity. Although, this is not the last Albert would hear about his old channel. And around early to mid-2020, people started to watch some of his older videos from that channel. Since they saw that this channel back then was using large amount of profanity and controversial jokes, people started to try and cancel him. Now, if you don't know, when somebody gets canceled, this essentially means that social media is attacking a public figure due to their use of offensive behavior. Because of this, in August of 2020, he ended up privating or deleting almost every video on the Albert Stuff channel. Now that we've established a brief history on him, let's move on to his success. Now, I'm going to break his success down into three separate parts. The first one being his personality slash editing. Now, almost everybody that watches Flamingo will agree that he is extremely entertaining to watch. This is caused by two primary factors. The first one being his voices and or characters that he uses in his videos. And just overall being loud, he's a hilarious guy. When someone is watching one of his videos, their attention will be caught immediately and will in turn be more likely to continue watching. The second factor is his editing style. His videos have absolutely no points where the viewer might want to click off. There are nearly no spots in his videos where he isn't talking. This is extremely important for audience retention. Now, if you don't know, audience retention in a nutshell is the average view duration that a viewer will watch a video. And basically, if a video on YouTube were to be, let's say, 10 minutes long, and the average view duration is one minute, that video would get a 10% audience retention rate. And the average is around 35 to 40%. And you want to keep this number as high, as close to 100 as possible. So you want your videos to be entertaining the whole way through. And basically, the higher retention rate, the better. Now, the second part of his success. And this is due to his ideas, which include his titles and his thumbnails. Now, let's start off with his titles. For example, on one of Albert's most recent videos, he played the popular game on Roblox called Livetopia. Okay? Now, most YouTubers, they may want to simply name their videos Roblox Livetopia, right? short and sweet. But this isn't the approach that Albert takes. Instead, he decides to take something that happens in that video and translate it into his title. The title being, for example, of this video is Roblox's Dumbest Players, right? Now, the thumbnail as well is a Roblox player with a very small brain. Not only is this funnier than him simply putting Roblox Libtopia, it is also much more engaging and intriguing to the viewer. And one more factor about his titles is that they're all in caps, as intriguing as possible. Next up, his thumbnails. Thumbnails on YouTube have to be eye-catching. They need to have either bright colors, something funny, or preferably both. Albert absolutely nails this. He uses bright, eye-catching colors, 
in something funny every single thumbnail that will make the viewer laugh. Another factor to making a good thumbnail is adding your face with the surprise expression. Now I know this may seem cliche, but it is very important. And this is for two reasons. The viewer will see your face and know automatically that that's you. And they know that in Albert's case that all of his videos, they like him. You know, all of his videos on the Flamingo channel, they like him. So they know that this, immediately they know that that's his video. So, boom, a click right there. Now, also when somebody sees that somebody else is surprised or laughing or any expression, it makes the person want to know why that person is is portraying that emotion. It makes the person want to know why that person is either surprised or laughing or whatever emotion they're showing, making the viewer again more likely to click on the video. All right? Two reasons down. Third and final reason for his success is due to his consistency. Albert is one of the most consistent and dedicated YouTubers I've ever seen on the platform. He has uploaded a video nearly every single day with the exception of taking a few days off every now and again for over four years on his Flamingo channel, which is absolutely insane. He has been able to consistently put out good content for a long time now. Now, another example of his dedication and hard work is simply the fact that the guy is really, really fit. And in the past, if you look at some of his videos when he was in high school and just a young adult, he was, he was bulked. Like, to get to that level of being that ripped or that bulk takes a lot of dedication and a lot of consistency. And he has nailed that down. <laughs> so, overall, I think what we can take from this is that Albert is a YouTube genius. He has mastered the art of making videos and every aspect that goes along with it. Thank you for watching. This video took a lot of time, a lot of effort to make, and I... Thank you for watching it, and if you haven't already, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you all in the next one. This video was brought to you by the subscribe button. I don't have a sponsor. I'm a very small channel. One more thing to add, this video was inspired, this video's thumbnail and idea was inspired by the YouTuber Patty Galloway. I watched some of his videos and I absolutely love them. Make sure to definitely go check them out. The link is in the description. Once again, hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. I hope that everybody in this world has a phenomenal day and I just started my YouTube channel about a week or so ago and checking out some of my other videos it would really help me out a lot and you know overall you don't you don't have to but I would greatly appreciate it. Hopefully everybody has a magnificent day.